One of the biggest advancements in the Muslim world was the development of maps. Muslim scholars continued and advanced the map-making traditions of earlier cultures. The first reason for Muslim map-making was actually a religious purpose. It was an obligation of all Muslims to pray several times a day while facing Mecca. Since the Muslims had to know which way to face, Muslim cartographers created maps for separate cities that pointed the direction to Mecca. As Islam spread across Africa and Asia, so did Muslim cartography. It required more accurate maps constructed using advanced spherical trigonometry and various mathematical tools. They developed navigational devices and began to take notes from their travels around the world to make their maps more accurate. However, there was more to Muslim map making than just finding Mecca. Arab traders ranged widely and they needed accurate information about coasts, topography, towns, and other features, which were included in many maps. Astronomers also devoted a great deal of time to mapping the location of the stars and the planets, and mariners helped map coastlines as they sailed the ocean. Another part of Muslim cartography was universalism. Instead of creating different maps for each city or country that Muslims found themselves in, mathematicians decided to make a map that showed a direction and distance to Mecca from anywhere in the world. Muslim mapping even allowed for calculation of the Earth's circumference. Two of the greatest map-making achievements that they made were the first color map and an accurate world map with all the continents and their landmarks made by al Muqdishi. The Islamic tradition of map-making dates almost to the very dawn of Islam, driven in part by the necessity for all Muslims to face Mecca during their daily calls to prayer, and by the need to properly orient mosques to also face Mecca. Over the centuries, Islamic mathematicians and cartographers brought mathematical cartography to new levels of sophistication, drawing on their own research as well as incorporating many tools from the Greek and Hindu cultures. The result of this mixture of science, mathematics, religion, and cultures resulted was a unique collection of maps. Today, I met up with ancient map expert Daniel Spaniel, and I asked him some unanswered questions on Islamic cartography. So how did Islamic cartographers leave a notable mark on their society and others? Cartographers developed a new and useful coordinate system for mapping Earth, and that helped Muslim traders travel far and wide to spread cultural diffusion through trade. What was the Muslims' perspective on projection? Projection was the portrayal of Earth on a flat piece of paper, which was a new development in ancient Islam and played a major role in the cartology world by showing a whole new perspective on the world on a sheet of paper. Why were these new projections so important? These projection uh, methods greatly improved the accuracy of Islamic maps, and the maps made using these techniques were widely used and copied for centuries. What influenced Islam in terms of cartology? Muslims used mathematical and geographical techniques learned from Hindu and Greek cultures to develop their own map-making techniques.